Welcome in everybody. Glad to be here with you on TV Sports 27 streaming live on Twitch and it's time for another ultra fan stream here. Compliments of ultra fan member K Duckman over on our Patreon page. Let's do a quick mic check here. Mic check, mic check. Quick mic check here. Mic check, All right, mic. mic sounds pretty good. Let me know. Jump in if there's any kind of audio issues or anything like that. You guys are my first line of defense because I can't hear nothing. Because uh, you don't get any sound check, nothing from the, the PS4 here. But we're going to be doing another two games of the Denver Broncos franchise. And we are 3-0. and The Chiefs for the first time in a long time looking pretty good as well. So we're going to look at what we've done here so far. And you see uh, pretty dominant victories throughout the first three weeks of the season. Tom Brady the third did not have a good game here but was able to nonetheless get a pretty solid win. So we're going to play against the Ravens and against the Chiefs. We're going to do two games with you here, and we are streaming on, this is June 17th. This will probably drop on YouTube sometime in late July, maybe early August, probably the very end of July is uh, when this episode will go up live. So uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'll probably throw this one after the stream is done here. I'll probably upload it to YouTube and then drop the full episode on our Patreon page. And then we'll cut this up into parts and upload it as we have been doing on YouTube. The uh, The performance of a lot of these videos since we've been doing the, the 20, 30 minute uploads here has been pretty awesome. They've been doing well. So I decided it's kind of like a little bit of a treat. What I think we'll do is for our Patreon supporters, we'll throw up the full episode. And we're two months ahead of schedule, almost a month and a half here. So you guys will be able to pop in, see the episode early. And then uh, on YouTube, the rest of you guys will be able to get it in parts here. So we'll split this up later on, go one full stream. But Lamar Jackson, still a member of the Baltimore Ravens all these years later. This is our 11th, 11th, 12th season here. Uh, again, we want to thank K Duckman. This is Ultra Fan Stream Request. Every other week is Ultra Fan Stream Day. And K Duckman, this is his fourth Ultra Fan Stream Request. Is he is currently our only Ultra Fan right now. So time is as good as ever. If you guys want to sign up and request a stream here on the channel, you would uh you'd be right there you'd get a lot of stream requests because there's only one other uh, uh purchaser at the ultra fan level and that is our good friend k duckman so go ahead and sign up if you want to be a part of the action if you want to be a patreon ultra fan patreon.com slash tv sports 27 and uh again k duckman thank you for bringing us this stream and uh we want to mention as well off the top that this is uh, the week we are on call with our current job at work. So if the on-call phone were to go off here, we'll have to pause the stream, maybe even stop the stream for a period of time here and take the call. So we continue to, uh, to plug. If you want to help make this a full-time endeavor, you can do so at our uh, Patreon page. You can also follow along with us on Twitch. Hit the follow button. A lot of stuff going around on Twitch lately over on Twitter. Uh, they they dropped their new kind of streaming rules for being a, a Twitch partner, and a lot of people are not too happy about it, saying it's gonna it's only gonna support like the upper one percent of streamers on Twitch, and then for small streamers, it's not really gonna do much. And I'm obviously in my current incarnation a, a small time streamer, so who knows? Maybe we need to switch back to YouTube streaming. <laughs> Maybe we could just. Uh, uh, stream on YouTube and still cut it up and upload it onto YouTube or something. We'll uh, we'll try to figure out the way. Uh, the reason we don't stream that much on YouTube is because the YouTube uh, streaming, the algorithm, does not tend to recommend stream replays like it tends to recommend brand new videos. So that's kind of the reason why we've been streaming on Twitch and uploading on to YouTube is because it's more likely that the algorithm is going to pick up one of our videos and recommend it to new folks and it's been working because we posted the analytics over on our uh, Twitter page TV Sports 27 on Twitter and you can see where about 95 to 98 percent of people that watch our videos are from non-subscribers that means the algorithm is picking up our videos it's picking up what we're putting down but when we were doing the streaming on on youtube it doesn't tend to recommend those videos but maybe we can stream on youtube and we can 
download the video and then re-upload it at a later date or something. I don't know, something we can figure out. But that's uh, that's been the talk of the town. You know, go go look it up. That one was very much overthrown by Brady. Tom Brady the third. Is that no Sean Moreno? I don't know. Of course not. Uh, he's kind of had a sluggish start. I mean, some uncharacteristic sloppy plays. That was one right there. He had a receiver head to the sideline, and the ball was just really highly thrown. Look at that. Look at where his uh, his intended target is. Joe Coffey, and then where the ball was. Coffey is there, and that ball was way off the mark. Did that say no Sean Moreno? Isn't he supposed to be a running back? Uh, so anyway, all that to be said. I don't know. Go check it out. Go on, uh, go on on Twitter, and check out all the all the talk. I don't know all the ins and outs about it because I'm not a Twitch partner, but it's uh, a lot of people have been talking about. It. A lot of people have not been too happy about it. So who knows? Maybe I'll maybe I'll do a, a YouTube stream again here coming up. But either way, glad to have you guys here. We are TV Sports 27. We're streaming on Twitch. We're gonna be uploading this on YouTube. And we are watching right now because, like I said, this is this is a big day. It's June 17th when we were streaming this. You're probably going to see it on YouTube, like I said, late July, early August. But basically, we got the USFL that we're keeping an eye on. And it's pretty much, it's week 10. But in the USFL, the playoffs are basically starting right now. Because every single game, with the exception of the Birmingham Stallions game, because they've already clinched, but the Stallions still have first place to play for. Every game is a win and you're in and a lose and you're eliminated, except for the Stallions opponent. But if the Stallions opponent wins, then they would be in the playoffs here. So it's kind of like the playoffs starting early. We got the Pittsburgh Maulers and the New Jersey Generals on right now, and it is a 6-6 game. We're about to go to halftime, so this is TV Sports. We're going to be talking this as we're going through. If you're joining us live on Twitch, you can follow along with us if you're uh, watching the replay on YouTube, uh, the, you, the, you already know who the USFL champion is at this time because by the time this uploads, the championship will already have come and gone. So uh, so we, if you want to join us live and chat with us in real time about stuff going on, uh, for the meantime, it's twitch.tv slash tvsports27. If you are watching on YouTube, though, hit the follow button. Hit the subscribe button, rather. Hit the thumbs up and... And uh, follow along with us here. We appreciate your support. Still trying to get to a thousand subscribers on YouTube to help us meet that milestone goal. There you go, Lamar Jackson touchdown Ravens. That's no good. So they take advantage of the pick six, not the pick six, the interception. I mean, it was a pick that turned into six. Now, is that Anthony Beck? Is that the, uh, the the Battlehawks coach that just caught that? Same last name. I'm curious, because you know we're using older draft classes. That'd be kind of funny if we had a XFL coach out there. He was a tight end. So 7-0 Ravens. Broncos trying for 5-0 and here. Starting this one off at 3-0. and And Dante Hall... Look at this kick return. Boy, if he could have gotten some better blocks, the blocking was pretty god-awful there. So that was annoying. So there's the not-so-good stat line from Tom Brady the third. <laughs> oh, of 1 with one interception here. We're still running our Patreon promotion here. For those of you watching on Twitch, we got a couple months. For those of you watching on YouTube, we got one month left. We are trying to get 10 more. This is kind of similar if you guys watch uh, 616 Entertainment on YouTube. One of my favorite YouTubers. He's doing something similar right now where every 10 Patreons, he's got like a, a tiered list. Go check out 616, by the way. He just hit 100,000. If you like me, you'll like his stuff because he's, he's an awesome YouTuber. But uh, look at this play action fake. There's wide open Tory Holt, but I'm not liking this flag. Probably going to be brought back. But he's doing a similar promotion where every 10 Patreons up to 300, you're going to unlock something new. And we're doing something here as well, except we're just doing, we're instead of doing all those different levels, 
we're doing it where we just are looking for 10. We get 10 new Patreons in the next month if you're watching on YouTube. If you're joining us live on Twitch, you still got about two months. But before the end of the month of August, if we get 10 new Patreons, then we are going to play, we're going to purchase, and we're going to play AEW Fight Forever here on the channel. And it's not going to be a one-off. It's going to be a regular series on the channel, too. We're going to do the career mode. We would do, uh, you know, obviously they're not going to have a universe mode. We call it universe mode, but kind of like a, kind of like how we're doing our universe mode. We would do something very similar to that where we'll play through, uh, you know, a weekly show and then have a pay-per-view and all that kind of stuff. Look at this. Brady going deep. Oh, incomplete. He had Anthony Page. And it's an 0 for 3 start for Tom Brady the third. So, all that to be said, if you guys would like to see AEW Fight Forever, if you would like to see a second wrestling show on the channel in addition to Universe Mode, WWE 2K22's Universe Mode, help us unlock AEW Fight Forever. Help us reach our goal. We're just looking for 10 new Patreons before the end of the month of August, and we will play AEW Fight Forever. We will bring a second wrestling show to the channel here in AEW Fight Forever with 10 new Patreons. So help us uh, meet our goal with that one. And we appreciate your support, all of our Patreons, as well as K Duckman is bringing this Ultra Fan stream to you guys. Yes, sir. AW Collision, the debut is tonight as we are streaming this. A lot of uh, hype and interesting surroundings amongst this show. CM Punk making his return. CM Punk made his return to WWE in our universe mode on episode 20 of WWE Dark, which is up on Patreon right now. CM Punk now uh, looking like the sixth member of the Heyman Empire. So Heyman's got his six to go to war with Retribution. Kevin Owens, CM Punk, Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, and the Usos. An all-star Hall of Fame lineup the Heyman Empire. What is CM Punk going to do on AEW Collision tonight? What is CM Punk going to do in our universe mode as he's made his return? Previously, he was in our old universe mode. In fact, uh, both of our old universe modes. He was in WCW previously. He was a member of the Four Horsemen with, uh, with Kevin Nash, Arn Anderson. Oh my goodness, poor tackling. And it's all Baltimore so far in this one. Unbelievable. We uh, CM Punk was also part of WWE in our other universe mode, where he was part of the Wyatt family. He it was Bray Wyatt who was ousted from WWE by Ted DiBiase in the Millionaires Club, and then CM Punk, who had a tag team, uh, an interesting tag team for a number of months with Yokozuna. He uh, kind of went into straight edge society, CM Punk, and was begging Bray Wyatt basically to come back. And he was able to fight with Ted DiBiase and get Bray Wyatt to come back. And then he was a member of the Wyatt family and then would turn on Bray Wyatt, where after he brought back Bray Wyatt, CM Punk says he was kind of disappointed in what he got. And that would lead to Bray Wyatt turning into The Fiend. And we had a big match at WrestleMania, The Fiend versus CM Punk. So what is CM Punk going to do this time in universe mode? But if you want to catch his debut, episode 20 of WWE Dark right now. And there's the first completion for Tom Brady the third. It's up right now on our Patreon page. You can check that out as we speak. So let me know your thoughts. AEW Collision tonight. Like I said, we are streaming this on June 17th, so what are your thoughts for the big show? Miro is going to be back in action tonight, too. So it's going to be big business tomorrow as well. Patreon Sunday, but I don't know if we're going to get a chance to stream tomorrow. We're going to have to see if time permits, because they just announced they moved up the New Orleans Breakers game in the USFL to 1 o'clock. So that's going to be an earlier start time there. And then, of course, Sunday is Father's Day. So I know I got some uh, lunch in at, at Mom's house. Oh, my God. What is happening right now? Oh, 
That says Monroe, by the way, not Moreno. <laughs> that says no Sean Moreno. Um, a second interception. This offense is just having a rough time. And that was, I mean, not on Brady. It was a good throw, but this is, this is a, a rough, a very rough start here for the Denver Broncos. And no signs on defense, too, of slowing down Lamar Jackson. This is... Whew, we got to get things together. <laughs> so anyway, they moved my New Orleans Breakers game up to noon. It's do or die, so we got to watch. Or not noon, to one. One Eastern. So it's do or die there. And then they, uh, we got Father's Day. So I don't know. I don't know if there'll be time. We might try to get on. I know we had talked about trying to do the Rey Mysterio showcase mode, which would absolutely have to be a Patreon exclusive because... Um, and I might even go back to the beginning. I'll see. I'll have to see how you guys in the chat decide. Maybe play through what we got, and if you guys want to see the first three matches, we can. But we previously uploaded the Rey Mysterio Eddie Guerrero match, and of course it was Copyright City, so I had to edit all those clips out, and it was no good. <laughs> so um, I've, I've only played two other matches since then: the Eddie and Rey match at Halloween Havoc, and the. Uh, Ray and JBL match or Ziggler match or something, whatever, or it's just Shawn Michaels match. There's the good lord, 21 nothing. All right, we got to focus, we got to get in gear right now because this uh, is that uh, is that coach Anthony Beck of the of the St. Louis Battlehawks. So, anyway, all that to be said, should we have time tomorrow, be on the lookout for uh, it will, we'll stream it on Twitch, twitch.tv. I don't think I don't think Twitch is as as a i mean they will do a copyright claim i mean the famous metallica copyright claim you heard that story where they went after people and then they were doing a live concert on twitch and they got copyright claimed by the music is so weird music copyright is such a weird thing like that i don't know you would think you would it seems like an old thing maybe back then you didn't want your music to be used but in the era of youtube the thousands and thousands and thousands of people that that click on a video and would potentially hear your song like i can't tell you how many i don't know how these other folks get away with it but i i follow different youtube pages like every month they'll do the top 15 bands of you know the month or whatever and i've discovered so many bands just through like youtube suggestions or things like that that you would think that a band whether you know with sponsorships on YouTube, you have to kind of say, hey, this is a sponsored video at the top. Maybe you credit the the musician or something. Like, the musicians that pay all this money to have their music be in Madden. But then you stream Madden and you have to mute all the music. So to me, to me talking, that's the biggest waste of money in the world right there. I spent all this money to have my music in Madden. Look at this big run by Pierce. This is big. Jameel Pierce, you know, I spend all my money, handy dandy uh, music company, I spend all my money to get my music in Madden. I've not heard a single song in this game because I always have it muted. And a lot of people have all their music muted for that very reason. So it just seems like a big old waste of money and a big waste of time to have all these copyright rules. You're going to go to all the trouble to put your music in a game, but then you're going to, you know, copyright claim people i don't know don't understand it i would want my music to be out there personally i wouldn't want people to hear my song and then to go and check out my music especially nowadays in youtube and that just seems like the whole copyright music thing just seems like an old fuddy-duddy old-timey thing that you know was a thing back then that now with youtube and spotify and all that that you would think you would want people to you know, whether your song plays and you can just click on the, the song up in the corner and then it links you to that song, you would think would be a way better way of do. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Well, we were saying that we were saying that Tom Brady, the third had a rough game against the Green Bay Packers. He's been in the league. This is his third year, two Super Bowls to his name. 
I mean, two of these interceptions are off deflections. The first one was bad. I don't know what Brendan Smith is doing there with his back to the football. That was the best drive of the game so far for the Broncos. And it results in a third interception. What's that? K-Duck, man, what's happening? K-Duckman reached out earlier and said he's become, you know, an even bigger Denver Broncos fan just because of these streams. So he's excited for this. K-Duckman, <laughs> he's in shock. He, he's reaching out to me on Twitter, sending me, a, or not on Twitter, on a Patreon, sending me a message saying, what the heck? Think of the I don't know. I don't know what's going on. And we talked about the stats. It's been a still undefeated. Oh, my God. Come on. Oh, my God. Lamar Jackson. Get out of here with that. Oh, my God. He made our defense look foolish right there. Oh, my God. There's the handoff. Golly, I can't remember. When's the last time we've had a loss this bad, guys? I mean, we lost uh, about three games last year, right? Fifteen and one, Brady, the third's first year. My goodness. Oh my goodness, that one nearly tipped and intercepted. That would have been the stats are ridiculous for Lamar Jackson. Three interceptions for Jackson. Three touchdowns for Lamar Jackson. Three interceptions for Tom Brady the third. Get some blocking here, guys. Dante Hall tried to make something happen. Alright guys. I mean, do we do we have to rely on our running game a little bit here? That's what got us down the field mostly. There's the give. There's a slight opening. Twenty-one zero, Baltimore. Play fake, Brady the third, and it's brought in. There we go. An all-time awful stat line, but twenty-nine yards. Brendan Smith making up for putting his back to the football last time. Brady's got. How does Brady have his X Factor right now? <laughs> Brady's X Factor is on fire. Should we try to take advantage of that? How's that possible? Tom Brady the third, continuing the Brady dynasty. Two championships his first two years. The play action fake, and the offensive line just took Brady's X Factor right away from him with that lack of blocking. Man. I remember, what was it, last season? It was Broncos and Ravens. And I was in New York at the time. And I just laughed because the Broncos, like, hung on to the lead the whole time. And then with, like, less than a minute to go, I hit refresh, and the Broncos were losing. I just laughed. I laughed so hard because they were so bad last year. Brady dropping back. And could not get the ball to release. Takes a back-to-back -back sack from Wiley. And this has been a no good, very bad first half here for the Denver Broncos. And even worse off, up, up next, the second game that we're going to play with you guys, the Kansas City Chiefs game. They're undefeated right now, and that this could be their run. We you talking about Patrick Mahomes in real life, the cover athlete here of this Madden, and in real life just been this amazing player. But in our world, 
he has not won any Super Bowls. I suppose if you want to, you know, you're looking at the... This game came out after he won the Super Bowl against the 49ers. So we've gone 12 seasons without even a, an appearance from... I mean, this is like... This is Dan Marino territory. It would really help if our defense can force some kind of turnover. Just to give our offense some reprieve here. Nice three and out from the defense there. Kashawn Clemens. Okay, well, you know. We got some uh, shoulder pad punch in there from a couple of the guys. Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes it. Yeah, the blocking is really bad right now. Adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Good coverage there holds them to just a two-yard return. All right. We need, we need something right here on this drive. Without question. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Play action, Brady the third, wide open, Brendan Smith. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped Good inside the 40. We gotta try to figure out why Brady the third is having these slumping moments. Like we talked about the Packers game. Just having a couple moments where he's not himself. We gotta try to get around that. Draw play to Jonathan Taylor. Brady steps up. It is caught by Nick Coffey. Two really good throws back to back from Tom Brady the third right there. No turnovers. Come on, guys. Let's hit that purple. One thing I was watching, I'm looking at this end zone here. I was watching some old Jim Harbaugh highlights from the Bears and the Chargers and the Colts on YouTube. NFL throwback. You guys know one of my favorite YouTube channels. The end zones, the teams in the end zones don't really like hype up their conference. There we go. There's the touchdown we wanted. Like I was looking at the old Bears and like the the Colts end zones and they have the big NFC logo, the AFC logo and then teams these days like you know, even the Jaguars. The Jaguars used to have the AFC logo. And a lot of teams don't really put that conference logo in the end zone anymore. I don't know. There was something cool about that. that like a, a cool touch that I I liked. And just looking at these Ravens end zones. You know, they just, just as Baltimore Ravens. A little boring. It's there, but... Remember the Ravens 2000 end zone? That's kind of cool. Black and purple and gold. All right, well, we at least got on the board here after quite a slow start. So we'll see. We'll see if we can't come up with something big here. Maybe a quick three and out to get one more drive. Lamar Jackson is going to try to run it. We have a spy out there. Delta O'Neal kind of just sandwiches down Lamar Jackson. I wish they would give us more spy plays to choose from. Leo pushing through, and there's going to be a first down. Again, big thank you, K Duckman, who is uh, bringing this stream to you. Compliments of patreon.com slash tbsports27 as an ultra fan. So everyone say thank you to k duckman in the comments for bringing this to you oh my goodness mike vrabel speaking of coaches out on the field oh my god that would have been a big that would have turned this game around if vrabel could have gotten it so that will take us to the two minute warning so if we can get this stop call the timeout we can make something happen, guys. 
season. We'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress. Here comes DeMarvin Leal. Oh, my goodness. Lamar Jackson is eating our defense alive right now. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. USFL game, Pittsburgh 9, New Jersey 6, fumble! Pittsburgh fumbled, I think Jersey got it. Generals without Luis Perez, just a 3-6 and six record, but still looking to go to the playoffs. All right, DeMarvin Leo blowing up that screen pass. Broncos take their timeout. And a first down. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, guys. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Jackson in the offense come up first and ten. And he's five for six now throwing the ball on this drive. Now the Ravens Classic Madden, the 101 timeout from Baltimore. A minute to go before halftime. Turnover would still be good if our defense could wake up and get us one of those. This is a, a surprising performance, too. I mean, you got to give credit to Lamar Jackson and company, but our defense... You look at when we were going through the schedule early on. They've been pretty solid all year, and this is kind of a, a down period for them. So one timeout for Baltimore, 30 seconds here, and a fourth Touchdown pass for Lamar Jackson in the first half. We were hoping to get the ball back, guys, and make this a game. And instead, Jackson had other ideas. Oh, my God. We've had bad memories with Baltimore, too, with the... Lamar Jackson ruined one of our seasons when we were with the Miami Dolphins. We had a late lead, and with less than a minute to go, Lamar Jackson had like two or three scrambles, field goal range, and won the game. Knocked us right out of the playoffs. Well, a decent return by Dante Hall up to the 38. So this, you know, still with two timeouts, could get us in some field goal range. Let's see. Brady goes deep. Oh, my God, Paige. We're still dealing with some injuries, right? I, it's been probably about two weeks. No, because uh, K. Duckman, he requested the uh, Tom Brady baseball last time. Torrey Holt, Brendan Smith... Uh, Gary Bryant Jr. is out with the injury. So we had moved up Holtz, Brendan Pay yeah, Brendan Smith, Anthony Page up. Tank Magoo. Uh, we probably need a sixth receiver. <laughs> I don't know. So that's why you're seeing a lot more Anthony Page, but it's not working out right now for him. Swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space, and just don't get totally second and ten here for the Broncos. Trying to steal a couple of points before halftime. 
Oh my God. Three of these interceptions on Tom Brady the third have been like that with receivers not making catches. The first interception all on Tom Brady the third. Absolutely. Because it was a terrible pass. These last three interceptions, none of them have been his fault. It's been all on the receivers, every single one. Holy smokes. This is one of the worst appearances, I think, since we've been on this run with Tom Brady the third, right? In the last two years. Well, they uh, did not try to hurry at all to get more points on the board. They just said, no, we got a good enough lead. We're good. So, we are going to, for those of you watching on YouTube, we're going to say goodbye to you. We will uh, be back tomorrow with the next portion of this. If you're watching on Twitch, we're going to keep going for the full two hours plus. If you're a member of our Patreon page, patreon.com slash tbsports27, right after this stream is over, we're going to upload the complete two-hour stream so you guys will get to see it a full two months before anyone on YouTube gets to see it. So patreon.com slash tbsports27. For those of you on YouTube, we're going to say goodbye to you, and we'll see you tomorrow for the second half. Let's see what the Broncos got in them because this is rough. Check on the Saints at home at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome.